This is my pre-AP living history project and I have come back with updated numbers once again and so there has been 1,464,852 cases confirmed and there has been 85,397 deaths altogether and there has been 402,923 cases in the U.S. and there has been 15,456 cases in Florida and there has been 309 deaths in Florida. And um, to continue with the weather that I've been talking about, the whole hurricane thing. So on top of not being able to go to church for Easter Sunday, um, we might we have a chance of severe weather either on Sunday, like the day, or at night. So yeah, and in case you wanted to know, I also have a Broadfordville Center Publix employee test positive for the coronavirus. Um, I usually, whenever I go on the WCTV website, it usually tells me, like, some person who got, like, got, uh, tested positive for the coronavirus or COVID-19, and it's like, dang, I mean, what about all the other people? But, I mean, it's really, I think it's mainly focusing on this part is because these are people who, like, work with other people that have contact with other people and that's just how it spreads and it's like oh my gosh <laughs> another possible case that's like my mom has my sister whenever she comes home I can't remember if I told you this or not I probably did but if when a lawyer comes home she has to jump in the shower because she's been working at Winn-Dixie and she's one of the cashiers so she has contact with other people but yeah that's my update video.